And the weather isn't helping things in Kelso. A guy was driving along. All of a sudden, his car falls into a sinkhole. This happened in the 100 block of Mill Street. Our Chris Holmstrom talked to the guy just moments ago. It's something you don't expect. You're driving down the road when all of a sudden the road just falls from beneath you. Well, it happened right here in Kelso, and that gentleman was on his way to work. Just driving along, all of a sudden, boom. You're looking at John Kingle's car after it was eaten up by a sinkhole. I'd probably driven 15 feet from the time I pulled out of the driveway onto the street. His work car completely stuck. The car just crashed down. I figured that the uh, axle had broken because the car shifted like that. And I thought, God, what's going on? Got out of the car and there was a sinkhole halfway back between the front and the back tire. But surprisingly, only minor damages to the car. The sinkhole, a different story. In fact, as the day went on, I learned it grew up to 13 feet deep. I asked city crews what caused it, and they tell me it was a sewer main break. And since the groundwater was so high from the recent rain, it made it tough to get to the damaged line. As for John, he tells me he's just thankful that nobody was hurt. He's also thankful he was only driving about five miles per hour. I was just really thankful that, uh, you know, it could have been a lot worse. If I'd have been driving at 25 miles an hour, regular speed limit, who knows what would have happened. Crews will be back out here first thing tomorrow morning to work on this sewer repair. I found out that repair could take several weeks. Reporting in Kelso, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Quinn 6 News.